قل يا عبادي الذين اسرفوا على أنفسهم لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله إن الله يغفر الذنوب جميعا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم الله سبحانه وتعالى says to the prophet O prophet tell the people يا عبادي tell my servants you know Allah سبحانه وتعالى shows his love that he's saying my servants you know he doesn't use the 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 grandeur um, uh, pronoun to say no our people he says my servants it shows how much allah loves people ya ibadi al asrafu ala anfusihim la taqnatu mir rahmatillah don't despair the mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he's all loving he's all caring he's al wadud he's rahman he's rahim he's the most merciful you know he's the most kind whether people believe in him or don't believe in him he doesn't he doesn't take the oxygen away from them whether people believe in him or don't believe in him he doesn't he doesn't st- uh, stop them uh, from doing anything he has given that free will to people to choose whatever they might want to choose but his mercy uh, prevails over everything yeah. Allah says that I have written my mercy over everything you know uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is just and he has to be just because he, those people who do good they have to be rewarded those who don't do good they have to be disciplined but the one characteristic that prevails over everything else is the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he's the most merciful there are no words to describe his mercy his forgiveness has no bounds and there are there are so many narrations we talk about how uh, how he covers our uh, uh, mistakes and he is so forgiving that the hadith tell us that actually when you when you ask for forgiveness and you are really sincere in your forgi- in your repentance it's not just asking for forgiveness just saying ya allah forgive me and thinking that you know it's all is fine it's having there, there are certain characteristics having a good intention that actually uh, you know i will never do it again also feeling remorse feeling regret that you know i have done something wrong and as a result i won't do it again and even then if you end up doing it again he still forgives Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wasallam says that even if your if your sins were like the froth on the uh, on on, uh, on in the sea or or the stars in the sky even if your sins were more than that if you come back with sincere repentance inna Allah ghafurur rahim Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful we see his mercy in everything you know it, 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 blessings that we see around us it is due to his mercy i am able to speak right now it is due to his mercy you know we are able to walk around it is due to his mercy he's so kind so merciful now it is you know it, it it is only fair that we also show mercy to others if we want the mercy of allah we show mercy to others if we want allah to forgive us we we need to show forgiveness towards others allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wasallam says that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not show mercy to those people lam yarhamun nas that the one who does not show mercy towards others so uh, you know we need to be forgiving to others the prophet of allah says how can someone uh, you know be so uh, unforgiving towards others and then expect allah to forgive them you know it's, this is not how it works we need to be kind towards uh, uh, not only just human beings but also towards animals towards um, those who uh, who are close to us and those who are un- those who are not close to us you know and this harboring uh, hatred does not really bode well uh, with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he wants people to live peacefully with each other and and show forgiveness towards each other and then you know the best uh, way to ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness is to never go back to those sins but never think that your sins are too big that you cannot turn to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no matter how many sins you might have committed you know we know there's a hadith which says that you know during the time of musa alayhi salam there was someone who had 
committed 99 murders. Now imagine if, if, if even committing one murder, it is like, you know, it, it is the worst crime ever. If you imagine having done 99, yet when that person turned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted him a place in paradise. We pray that Allah grants us one of the highest stations in paradise, inshallah. Amen.